the city of Lloydminster announced they're going to be holding a two-day open house for the Heritage Building in the coming weeks. Joining me to talk about this is Mayor Gerald Albers. Before we get to our main topic today, thanks for joining me, Mayor Albers, and congratulations on your re-election. Well, thank you. It's uh, very much appreciated. I appreciate the residents of Lloydminster for their support and uh, looking, for four more, uh, looking forward to four more years here as the mayor. Now, back in March, the city uh, decided to put the Heritage Building up for sale. Can you just talk to me about the process that went into that decision? So a report came forward to, from administration to council regarding several buildings and their status and state in the city. Council felt that uh, the Heritage Building, uh, or known as the Clock Tower, is very important to our community, but at the same time, it did not meet the needs of the city directly. So was it administrative? Was it for other purposes? So after a great deal of debate and discussion, it was uh, discussed and approved that the building would be put up for sale with a heritage status. So I think that's very important for people to understand that the building as it exists today will not change on the outside. That is, the information I've received is the facade, the outside will not change, and that's part of the heritage status status. What goes on in the inside is certainly up for discussion and that's where the, today's debate, discussion leads to us. But really we felt that we didn't have the need for that building in the city's uh, repertoire to have for us, but someone could make great use out of it. And that's where I think that's what's led to today. So the open house is going to be taking place November 4th and November 5th. Can you just talk to me a little bit about how the open house is going to work and who would be a great candidate for that? Well, I think uh, it's an in-person opportunity if people want to take the in-person opportunity to, to through, go through the basement, uh, the first ma main floor and the second floor. And if they want to inspect the bell tower and things like that, they can. Uh, there will be guidelines followed, of course, in place due to the pandemic that we're experiencing. There are video tours available if someone isn't able to get to our city today uh, or tomorrow while the building is open for that. So is there an ideal candidate? I don't think there's an ideal candidate. It is up for public sale. Uh, it will be tendered in essence, I believe, is where they'll end up leading to from that perspective. The, there's so many different possibilities. I think this is what today and tomorrow are about. So people can envision what they actually walk through. There's renderings that are also going to be available so people can see some different thoughts that have already been explored, some of the uses that have been there today and what it could potentially look like tomorrow. And I think that's the important part. There's an investment to be made in our community. It's one that the city, back to that meeting, in March did not feel it was in the best interest of the public to make the investment but from a private individual or a consortium group here's the opportunity to uh, make an investment in downtown Lloydminster we've got information about the DARP so they understand where the city is planning on moving downtown it's going to be very friendly from the perspective of, of walking and uh, the mobility factor. So I think that's important for people to know. Uh, having someone live downtown is a very important part of our community as well as doing business and other amenities. So here's an opportunity for, you know, the, the sky is wide open on this one and we'll see where it takes us from that perspective. Uh, you touched on the downtown area redevelopment plan a bit, so I just wanted to ask a little more about how is that heritage building, the clock tower building, going to fit into the whole picture of the downtown area redevelopment plan? I think it's it's almost a cornerstone. It is on the corner. It has a great deal of history. Uh, you know, the history of Lloydminster is very interesting. That building was destroyed in the Great Fire in the late 20s, rebuilt, and today continues to hold the anchor spot on on uh, the main drive, as it's referred to, or the main, main street of Lloydminster. So I think that it has historical value that can be built on in a business perspective. If you want to bring the modern to the, to the old, if you wanted to look at those terms. There's many different perspectives of, of a very modern facility in a building that has deep and steeped history in our community. And our, I've had members of the community very concerned that you're not going to knock the clock tower down. No, we're not. It is protected by the heritage status that it has. But like I say, it wasn't in the city's best interest to pursue the development. But we see private developers. I think that, uh, you know, we've had a lot of inquiries already. And that's terrific. And I hope there's even more inquiries because I think that's that brings people's creativity to the forefront. And looking a little further down the road when it comes time for someone to actually purchase the building, does that decision have to go before council? Did they have to approve it? 
the sale would come like the before city council once uh, an offer has uh, has been conditionally accepted subject to the approval of city council so yes it will come out to the public uh it may just be depending on then who buys it or offers to purchase it it may not show a single name it could show multiple names or it could simply be a, co a company a number of company that decides that they're going to make an investment in our community all right well thanks for taking some time to talk with me about this historic building Mayor Jalal Albers. Thank you very much.